Welcome to a new episode of our weekly web series, Science in Context. I'm Ryan and joining me this week is Professor Matthew Fisher to discuss the WHO's fungal priority pathogen list. Matt, what's the current global impact of fungal infections? Hi Ryan. Well, fungal infections are a huge uh, neglected problem globally. Over 200 million people exist with some form of severe fungal infection, of which well over a million go on to die each year. Now that puts fungal diseases in the same category of those killed by breast cancer, tuberculosis or malaria. So it's an enormous problem, it's a highly neglected problem. We've also got to remember that there are no vaccines to any fungal infections. And what is the priority pathogen list and and how could it change things? The fungal priority pathogens list is a red flag planted in the ground saying there's a problem here, it's neglected and there's something that we can do about it. So what the WHO did is they used expert consultation to identify those fungal infections that we could have most impact on. So the list could be a game changer. It aims to improve surveillance. It aims to direct research funding towards research and innovation, and also where easy wins are available. These are the public health interventions where we can lessen exposures to these fungal pathogens, and also where we can have the drugs in the correct place and where clinicians can actually be trained to be aware that a fungal infection may be present in their patients so they can give the appropriate therapy. And how does your work contribute to this? My research focuses on two uh, organisms that are in the critical list. That's the mold, Aspergillus, and the yeast, Cryptococcus. So these organisms are very widely found. If you have a risk factor, such as cystic fibrosis or HIV AIDS, then you're at risk from severe disease. And too often, the infections become resistant to the few antifungal drugs that we have. So my lab is using genomics to understand why these pathogens become resistant and what we can do to make the therapies, the existing therapies that we have work better. Matt, thanks so much for your time. Thank you, Ryan.